Hello and welcome to Toshiba. In our series of how-to videos designed to showcase some of the features and capabilities of our newest series of MFPs, this video will address one of the new features available on Toshiba's hybrid MFP that allows printing in both standard black and white and Toshiba's unique erasable blue toner. Today, we're going to show you how to easily monitor the reusing of paper with the Toshiba Hybrid MFP and eStudio RD301 paper reusing device. The eBridge Paper Reuse Report, or PRR, is an application that automatically collects the data related to erased paper from both the MFP and the paper reusing device. It provides statistics on overall paper reduction, which includes the number of sheets and associated cost, average paper reuse time, and the environmental contribution. This is a great tool to monitor your environmental contribution and encourage erasable printing and reuse of paper. In order to use this application, your hybrid MFP and RD301 erasing unit must be networked. Up to 10 hybrid MFPs and RD301s can be monitored. The results can be outputted to a CSV or PDF file. Start by opening up the application on a PC. The first time you use the application, you'll need to input a few settings. This includes language, currency, cost of paper, and CO2 impact. For the US, this averages out to 0.03 pounds of CO2 per sheet of paper. After the initial setup, the data collection is automatic. Now, let's take a look at the eBridge Paper Reuse Report. You'll notice that you have both graphs and tables to represent the data. If we start in the upper left-hand corner, you will see a graph that tells you the average number of times a sheet of paper was erased and reused. From the report, we can see that we reused each sheet of paper 3.5 times on average. On the bottom left corner, you will find a graph representing the percentage of paper that was successfully erased. In our case, 95% of the paper that was attempted to be erased was successfully erased and can be reused. There are various reasons why a sheet of paper could not be erased. If a paper was erased several times already, it may have reached its limit of usability. The middle bottom section shows you the reasons why a sheet of paper could not be erased and the percentage for each reason. The middle top section shows how many new sheets of paper were used to print or copy and how many reused sheets of paper were used to print or copy. The last section we'll look at is the right side of the report. This is a detailed display of all of the data collected, such as reused sheets, CO2 reduction, and paper reuse rate. The report can also be exported to a CSV or PDF file to view the data offline or to import into another file. The eBridge Paper Reuse Report is a great way to see your company's environmental contribution in an easy-to-view format and to encourage employees to continue to use the erasable blue printing feature. We hope you found this how-to video informative. It's part of the comprehensive series that's available online. Thanks for viewing.